Okay, this is lesson 12-2, area of circles. Okay, we just finished circumference, now we're going to look at area. So the area of a circle in square units, we use this formula, A equals pi r squared, where r is the radius. Okay, we know that. So write this formula down. This is the only formula for the area, you know, where a circumference we have two. Pi r squared. Okay, we know pi is a mathematical number. It's actually a never-ending number, but we use a symbol for it. Oftentimes, we use just 3.14, but this time we're going to use pi, the whole pi, the whole number. Okay, so let's look at an example. It says find the area of each circle round to the nearest tenth. Okay, these problems are pretty simple because you're just plugging them in your calculator. Rounding is the hardest part. Okay, so on A, just like on every problem with this, you start by writing your formula. A equals pi r squared. Okay, on this one, they give us the radius halfway across, which is 9 meters. So I would just replace r with 9. So I always put it in parentheses because if it's a negative, which it shouldn't be, but if it is, you've got it in parentheses. So 9 squared, we have to do that first because our PEMDAS, parentheses, then exponents, then you multiply or divide. Okay, so we have to do that exponent before we can multiply the rest of the problem. So 9 squared means 9 times 9, which is 81. So I um, now have pi times 81. This is where your calculator comes in. There is a calculator button. Okay, we talked about it on circumference. So you're going to use that same button. So you just type 81 pi and press enter. Then we have to round. So let's see, 81 pi comes out to 254 point. Four, six. So I'm just going to look at the behind the decimal for a second. The tenths place is right behind the decimal. So you look behind that, six rounds up. So this number goes up. If it rounds down, it stays the same. If it rounds up, it goes up. So it became 0.5. Okay, and I'll try to remember I'm bad about using these. I forget. I just put an equal sign. But it is approximately, since we rounded, so you have to use the squiggles, 254.5. Okay, and now you have to put your units because we did meters times meters, which is meters squared. So the area of the circle is 254.5 meters squared. Okay, on example B, we still find or start with the same formula. A equals pi r squared. Now, they give a 15 feet. That is the diameter because it goes all the way across. So to find the radius, we first find what half of 15 is. And you can use your calculator, but half of 15 is 7.5. So that is what we plug in for R or our radius. Don't get confused and plug in 15 because that would be wrong. 7.5 squared means 7.5 times 7.5, which is 56.25. Then we still have times pi. So you plug that in your calculator. Let's see, 56.25 times pi, 176.71. So one rounds down, so we just drop it and we leave it 0.7. So it is approximately 176.7, and this one was about talking about feet or using feet, so feet squared. That would be the area of that circle. Area is everything inside the circle. Okay, so let's look at, I want you to try 1A and 1B. You are finding the area of these circles. So pause the video and then I will go over it with you. On both of these problems, we are finding the area of the circle. So our formula for area is pi r squared. So all we have to do is replace the r with what our radius is. That's what this stands for. On number one, we look. The line goes halfway across, so that is our radius. So I just take that number and plug it in. Pi times 11 squared. Now it's 11 meters, okay? So I have 11 squared. 11 times 11 is 121. So I have 121 pi. Then you just use your calculator. I have 121 and hit the pi button. The mode's messed up on this one. Don't forget if your mode is messed up, change it to classic. So 121 pi, and we are going to round to the nearest tenths place. That's one behind the decimal. So I have 0.13, three rounds down, so 0.1. And don't forget, whatever your units were, 
it's now squared because I did meters times meters. So I have meters squared. So the area of that circle is 380.1 meters squared. Okay, on problem B, I have the distance all the way across the circle. That is diameter. The formula for area is pi r squared. I need the radius. So I first have to divide that by 2. You can plug it in your calculator if you need to, but half of 8.2 is 4.1. That is what I plug in for the radius. Okay, I have 4.1 inches squared. So 4.1 times 4.1, oops, I didn't type it right. 16.81. Then I still have times pi. So 16.81 pi. And we're going to round to one place behind the decimal. 52.81. So one rounds down. So 52.8. Go back. Inches squared. You need to put your units. So the area of this circle is 52.8 inches. So it's funny, the way I drew them, this one was bigger. But in reality, based on the measurements, that one was much larger. The next example says you can calculate the area of a circle to help you solve real, real world problems. So this says a wireless fence transmitter at the back door of a house allows a dog to roam freely within a radius of 30 feet. As shown, what is the area of the space the dog has to roam? So this is one of those things where they maybe have on like a shock collar and the wireless transmitter, this is the whole area from the back door that it can travel, okay? A radius of 30 feet from that transmitter before, you know, his collar will kind of warn him. And then if he continues to stay outside of that, typically then it'll shock him. Um, but it always gives him like a little warning zap. So this right here is what we're trying to find. If you notice, this is not a full circle. This is a half circle because there's the house right there. It's a straight line, okay? And they told us a radius of 30 feet. So the first thing we do is calculate the area as if it were a whole circle okay but or actually just kidding we do a half circle so we know the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared okay so when it is a half circle you just take and multiply half one over two times all that to take half of that area so on this problem since it's a half circle we take our formula and then also add a half. This will find us the area of a semicircle or the half circle. So they already told us radius of 30 feet. We could have solved this without a picture, but the picture helps. Okay. So I have 30 as my radius. So again, using order of operations, I have to do my exponent first. 30 squared is 900. I don't know why they don't write that part. They went ahead and skipped it and did the next one. So you're not confused. One half pi times 900. So what they did, since pi is such a big decimal, it's a never-ending decimal, they went ahead and multiplied these two numbers together first. One half times 900. Half of 900 is 450. That's where they got this, 450 pi. So they still had to multiply by pi. When you do that, you get 1,450. 13.71. One rounds down, so 0.7 square feet. That's how you write that. Or that's uh, what they're talking about when you see this. Feet squared, that means square feet. That is the area. That dog has a lot of square feet that he has to work with that he can travel. So he has a huge area that he can play in. 1,413.7 square feet of playroom. So let's try one of these. Um... Let's just do 2B. Don't do 2A. Okay, so you can pause the video, read that, try 2B, and then I will go over it with you. Okay, problem number two says, Mr. Williams is building a patio in the shape of a semicircle. The diameter of the patio is 14 feet. What is the area of the patio to the nearest tenth? So it tells us he's building a patio in the shape of a semicircle. First thing I'm going to do is draw it. You don't have to, but I'm going to, because think of it. It's kind of like this is probably his house. So he's building it straight off his house. So we have a semicircle. It tells me that the diameter of the patio is 14 feet. Well, we know diameter means the distance all the way across the circle. Well, this is a semicircle or half of a circle. So the distance all the way, all the way across is right there. So our diameter 
is 14 feet. So it said find the area of his patio. Well, I know the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. So for half of a circle, it would just be one half times all of this. So this is the formula for a half circle, half of a circle, one half pi r squared. Now, remember, they gave me diameter, so the radius would just be half of that. If the diameter is 14, the radius is going to be 7 feet. So I plug that in, one half times pi times 7 feet squared. 7 times 7, we now use our order of operations. PEMDAS, we have to do the exponent before we can multiply. 7 times 7 is 49. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply these outer two. It's going to give me a decimal, but half of 49 is 24.5. So I have 24.5 times pi. So 24.5, hit the pi button. I get 76.969. So 6 rounds up, but that 9 also rounds up. So if we round this one to the nearest tenth, it rounds up to 77 feet squared. So that would be the area of his patio, 77 feet squared. Last example that we'll do together says a hockey rink is divided into three parts. The center part, called the neutral zone, is a rectangle with a center circle. So this whole rectangle is the neutral zone, and it has a circle in the center, as shown to the right. What is the area of the neutral zone around the center circle? So they want us to find the area of all this, but not that circle in the middle. So how we do that is we go ahead and find the area of both of those, find this total area, but then find the area of that because we can subtract it out. Well, the area of a rectangle is just length times width. So we take 85 times 54 to get the area of that total rectangle. Then we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. They went ahead and gave us the radius here is 15. So I'll plug 15 in and square it. That is 225. So you take 225 times pi, and that is 706.855 rounds up, so 0.9. Okay, so then you take this 4,590 from the area of the rectangle, and you subtract that 706.9 from it. When you do that, you get approximately 3,883.1 square feet. That's the area of the neutral zone around that center circle. So you have to find two areas now and subtract them to get the area of just the part we want. Okay, so I want you all to try one of those because that's more of a real world problem. When you want to know the area of something minus something in the center of it. So you're going to try number three. Okay, so I want you to pause the video and read it, try it on your own, and then I will go over it with you. On the third one, it says a face-off circle on a hockey rink is 30 feet across. At its center is a red spot 2 feet in diameter. What is the area of the face-off circle that is not red? Round to the nearest tenth. Okay, so I don't know about you, I know nothing about hockey. Okay, I have no clue what the face-off circle is, but... I know how to draw a circle. So that's all you have to do on this. You don't have to understand the problem to know how to solve for it. So it told us the face-off circle is 30 feet across. So I drew me a big circle, and I now know it is 30 feet across. So I'm going to do a dotted line since I already have a line in the middle. It's 30 feet across. Okay, that would technically be the diameter of that large circle. Okay, then it says, at its center is a red spot two feet in diameter. A spot is a circle. So I drew a red circle, and it has a diameter of two feet. Okay, so then it says, what is the area of the face-off circle? So the area of all this that's not red. So basically, I'm finding the area outside the red circle, but inside the blue one. Okay, so how we do that, we're going to go ahead and find the area of both of these circles. I'm going to go ahead and find all of this and find this, so then all I have to do is subtract that away from the big one to get the area of just this that's left, okay? So, 
I'm going to say area, I'm going to put L for large circle and S for small. So the area of my large circle, we start out pi r squared. If my diameter all the way across is 30, my r radius, which is halfway, would be 15. So I have 15 squared. Okay, so if we plug that in our calculator. 15 squared, that's 225. Then I have times pi. And it said round to the nearest tenths. So I have 706, 706.85. Five rounds up, so 0 0.9. And this one is, so feet squared. That's the area of the big circle. We still haven't answered the question yet. Now I'm going to find the area of the small circle. I'll switch colors. Since it's red, I'll do it in red. So area of the small circle. I'll start out with pi r squared. My diameter is 2 feet. So radius, which would be half of that, is 1 foot. So I have 1 squared. 1 times itself is still just 1. 1 times pi is just going to be pi. So since we're rounding to the tenths place, if you just press the pi button, we know it's 3.1415 and so on. It goes on and on forever, but we could round. 141. So four rounds down, so 3.1 feet squared is the area of the small circle. So to find the area of the face-off circle, around the red spot, I'm going to take this area that I found a while ago, the area of the large circle, 706.9 feet squared, and I'm going to subtract the area of that small circle from it. So 9 minus 1 is 8, 6 minus 3 is 3. So our answer here is 703.8 feet squared.